Good morning. Today's vlog is hmm, much less cheerful than usual. Uh, so Roman woke up this morning at, well, it's right before midnight, I guess. Projectile vomiting. Um, no one prepares you for that. And it was absolutely pitiful because he was like crying and trying to get it all out and just didn't feel good. And it was just the absolute saddest, worst thing ever, ever, ever. And what was even worse about it was like he, you know how like whenever I throw up, like I, when I'm sick, I'm like, can I please just throw up and be done with this? Because when I throw up, I feel so much better. And so you could tell as soon as it was over, he felt so much better. Well, so problem was he had been asleep since seven and it was like midnight. And so he was like, okay, let's play. Let's go. Why do you want to play? Why are you like wanting to go to sleep? What do you mean you want me to lay down? So we ended up having to get in the shower because there was so much vomit all over me, all over Sam, all over the bed, Roman. And, um, we brought the packet plate into our bedroom and he actually like just laid right down and went to sleep. Um, and then woke up this morning and has been completely fine, but it was such an odd thing. So he has, I mean, he's felt completely fine. Like he's been eating and drinking normal, playing normal. I think it might've been dinner. We had the stuffed peppers with ground beef and rice and he actually was eating the pepper and I felt like the peppers were like I don't like the consistency of peppers I feel like they're very chewy um, but at the same time they're hard which is super weird but you know what I'm saying like the skin is hard but the but the actual like inside of it is real chewy and I don't like it and I I didn't like it at all yesterday like I loved the actual inside like the meal I just didn't eat the pepper he ate the pepper and when he was throwing up that's what he was throwing up. So as much as we loved that meal, I don't know if that's gonna be, that's gonna be a regular meal. So now I'm gonna run, I did a Walmart return, a Amazon return. Now I'm gonna run to Spartanburg because that's just, I'm in um, Bowling Springs actually. I didn't feel like going to Greer. I've actually been avoiding, I've been avoiding Greer at all costs because they are doing the worst construction ever. And it's, I'm glad they're doing it now because they're doing it during summer when school's out because it is miles and miles and miles and miles of construction on a back road that literally everybody and their mother takes to get to Wade Hampton and to Greer and to Greenville. And they're doing it because it has become a pretty popular road. But it, I mean, you'll wait. 45 minutes at minimum in that traffic and my mom got something all over her car from the whatever they were using like she got it all on the underside of her car and they were like really struggling to get it off so i'm in actually i'm in bowling springs because that's the closest walmart and ups that were close together and then i'm gonna go to spartanburg target and grab a couple things for a haul um i haven't done a target haul in a long time it's it's been a morning i'm exhausted I did not sleep well. I think I woke up every 20 minutes from midnight until Roman woke up at 6 a.m. Just like checking to make sure he was breathing, that he hadn't thrown up and that he wasn't like thrown up and was choking on it. So I am exhausted, but he's doing great today. He's with granddaddy and he's just like, what? why are you acting so tired? Let's play. I'm good. Bless. So that was interesting i've never been a believer of like wear your dress your age unless you're young like i feel like a lot of very young girls dress so much older so quickly these days and even i did it when i was little and like i wish i wouldn't have now like looking back on it but i've never been one that like oh you're too old for that i think that's such a weird statement especially when it comes to things with cutouts that are short like people will be like you're i used to get it a lot more they'd be like you're in your mid-20s you're too old for that and i was like so you mean like teenagers need to be wearing this no um with that being said i found that that was a very strange haul everything was either like super conservative no cutouts dressy dresses that were nice and you could wear to church plain simple t-shirts simple shorts that are cotton material very like relaxed or it was like triangle tops one shoulder cutout backless and i was like who is wearing this stuff like it was almost like it was aimed at people who were younger but i just feel like that's that's just not how I would want my child dressing. Yeah, that was interesting. So I did get some good things. I hope the haul turns out as good as I expected. 
but it's 9 30 now um 9 45 cleaning ladies are at my house i think i'm gonna go i don't want to go to starbucks because that's gonna waste i'll i'll inevitably end up eating something or drinking a starbucks drink and wasting so many carbs it's so early like i need i'm, I'm actually hungry because i've been up since midnight i was about to say breakfast where's breakfast garden avocado and egg white sandwich oh that's like so freaking macro friendly let's eat that all right so i'm doing the garden avocado and egg white sandwich from panera i'm gonna go grab it continue all right let's go grab our panera and then we'll eat it in the car gigantic car vlog here but i figured let's try this together total macro count let me tell you 36 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and 19 grams of protein. So we're a little ahead already on the fat content. I went ahead and prepped my protein ice cream today and I'm doing s'mores, um, like a s'mores ice cream. So the graham crackers and the marshmallow fluff were what kind of really upped that. Um, but we're already kind of ahead on carbs and fat and protein. So we need to kind of watch that today. And make sure that we're eating a lot of good protein and not continuing to just rack on carbs and fat specifically. Ooh. That looks so good. Okay. Panera just knows breakfast sandwiches, I swear. They know sandwiches in general. Mm. That is good. Say hi. <laughs> Say I feel so much better. I feel so much better today. So I realized I did not close out the vlog, so I wanted to do that now. Um, and tell y'all, I really think it was just the peppers. And as soon as he got the throw up out, he felt so much better. Um, he's been doing so good sitting out here with mama probably gonna have to go put him in a short sleeve shirt soon but he like woke up 14 seconds ago and ezra went down at the exact same time that's how it's been lately i literally will put roman down in the morning when it's time to get him up i'll get him up walk across the hall put ezra down ezra will wake up i'll walk across the hall i'll put roman down for nap number two i mean this is how it's been <laughs> over and over but um i was editing the vlog and i wanted to make sure that i made this clear because i didn't kind of clarify in the other um, part of the vlog. I do not ever shame women for dressing a certain way, younger or older. I just don't think that the term dress your age is a thing. Like it's so weird. What does that even mean? And so often women will tell me like, you're too old to be wearing things that are that short. And I'm like, teenagers do not need to be wearing things that are as short as I wear them. I'm in my late twenties. I'm happily married. My husband loves my long legs. Like I'm the ideal candidate. But at the same time, I also don't, like teenage girls should be able to wear whatever they want because at the end of the day, it's not up to women to look or not look a certain way so that men do or do not pay attention to them. Did I explain that clearly? Women should be able to wear whatever they want, period. Um, I just, I think looking at it now from an older perspective, I do remember when I was younger, dressing in what was popular it wasn't that like i wore certain things to get certain attention again i just wore what was in style and the amount of attention that i used to get for those outfits when i would go out in public with friends or whatever i now realize was from grown men and i was a young teenager and i look at photos now and i looked it i looked like a young girl and i just see that behavior now from a completely different perspective from like these it was just gross and I don't get hit on now. Men don't gaze at me because I'm older. And so I think it just like, I feel like it's more of a, I think it should, we should just protect innocence kind of thing rather than a judgmental thing. I hope this is coming off the way that I'm meaning for it too. But y'all know my heart, you know what I mean. Um, and it's not on women to dress a certain way so that a man does or does not look at them. But I just saw so many cut out tops and, and, backless or super low cut things that were clearly geared towards teenagers. And even then like uh, little bikinis, like the, when I was looking for bathing suits for the boys for the beach, I found so many long sleeve shirts, short sleeve, like the rash guards, long sleeve rash guards, short uh, sleeve rash guards. I found longer swim trunks. I found short swim trunks, but they were still, the girl bikinis had cutouts and triangle tops and all this stuff. And like, they're cute 
but at the same time, I feel like it just starts so early, all those like cutouts and everything. So anyway, I have to quit fumbling over my words because I don't ever want it to come off in a negative way. So anyways, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead, but y'all understand. Um, so thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna hang out with this little dude now who is probably gonna lock up my phone before I even get the chance to <laughs> um, actually uh, take it from him. And um, I will link these pajamas below. They're bamboo pajamas. Him and Ezra absolutely love them. They're from a follower of mine. Um, I think she did give me a discount code. I'll have to check what it is, but they're super cute. The boys love them and I keep meaning to buy more. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time.